सो है एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर सिस्टम डिजाइन सीरीज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर डाइविंग डीप इन टू अ टॉपिक दैट्स क्रिटिकल फॉर ऑल डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सिस्टम्स ए सिंक्रोनस वर्सेज सिंक्रोनस डेटा रेप्लीकेशन एज वी डिस्कस इन दिन दी प्रीवियस वीडियो रेप्लीकेशन इज लाइक हैविंग मल्टीपल कॉपीज ऑफ योर डेटा बेस सो इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच दैट वीडियो प्लीज क्लिक ऑन दिस आई बटन टू वॉच इट सो गेटिंग बैक टू द टॉपिक just imagine that you are designing a distributed system okay and you are thinking about having a primary database that handles all your writes and you also want to replicate the data to multiple database servers so that you can route all your read queries to these replicas so that will increase your read throughput and as part of your design you need to analyze multiple replication strategies before implementing a solution so let's talk more about this uh, these strategies what exactly they are and the trade offs to keep in mind before making this decision so so first up is synchronous replication synchronous data replication ensures that the primary database and its replicas they always stays identical and consistent so what that means is every write operation on the primary database is immediately updated uh, to its replicas and also the primary database always waits for confirmation before all of its replicas uh, before completing any transaction and proceeding to the next operation uh so uh, if you take an example uh, if you want to run an update query on your primary database so uh, suppose you are running this this sql in which you are updating the salaries of your employees basically you are doubling the salaries of all your employees from engineering department that's a very unlike uh, situation but that sounds great so just let's move forward um so what will happen is during the execution of this uh, sql query your primary database logs this update statement in its transaction log so what is a transaction log it is basically a history of actions executed by a database system to uh, it, it is basically used to guarantee asset properties uh, in case of crashes or hardware failures so every database maintains this transaction log uh so what uh, this transaction log contains it contains all the necessary information uh, to replicate this change such as the table affected that is employees the column uh, that is salary and the condition of this sql and before completing the transaction of on this primary database this database uh, this log entry is immediately sent to all the all of its replicas okay so before the transaction is completed on the primary database this will be sent to all the replicas and that is done over a network obviously and which can introduce latency that we will discuss later in the later part of this video <clears throat> so after that each replica receives this log entry and apply starts applying this update to its own copy of the employees table and they also logs this change in their transaction log to maintain a consistent history uh one more thing here is that uh in this example our primary database sends its transaction log to all of the replicas okay so from one source to multiple targets but postgres also has a cascading replication option in which you can your primary database sends this log to only one replica and then that replica then updates itself and then sends the log to the next one and so on okay so that's another option in the uh, synchronous application and then after receiving uh, after updating it themselves each replica sends an acknowledgement back to the primary database indicating that the update has been successfully applied okay so they all send this acknowledgement back to the primary and then primary database upon receiving all the acknowledgements from all the replica databases 
it's commits it commits the transaction okay so if any of the acknowledgement are not received then uh, for example due to a network issue or a replica being down the primary database will not commit commit the transaction so here this system ensures a strong data consistency that is the main highlight of synchronous replication that it ensures you a strong data consistency uh so that's how the update works in case of synchronous replication so what are the advantages of the system let's uh, so as we talked about data consistency that is the main highlight of synchronous application um, so basically it ensures that both primary database and replica database have the exact same data at all the times so if you need your data to be spot on and always in sync synchronous application is your best friend okay second advantage is high availability so let's say if your primary database ever decides to crash okay so your hardware failure due to any whatsoever reason so because you are using you were using a synchronous replication strategy any of the replicas can jump in and take over with almost no data loss okay it's like having a ready to move backups and you don't uh need any any other effort to and you don't uh, suffer any downtime okay so we'll discuss more on these failovers in upcoming videos there are some disadvantages of synchronous application as well first and for uh, first and the most is latency so as you can see that if you are waiting if your primary server is waiting always waiting for replica databases to uh, give their acknowledgement back and that that can surely slow things down especially if your network is slow so latency is the main disadvantage and the second disadvantage is write throughput that is also very obvious that if your write uh, queries needs confirmation from all the replicas and all that back and forth confirmation can reduce the speed of your write operations because uh, there is a lot of extra work involved in keeping everything in sync so that's about synchronous application and so that's it for the part 1 of this video we'll talk uh, about asynchronous application in the next video and we'll also discuss a hybrid solution that combines both of these techniques so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for uh, more videos related to system design obviously